Good morning, everybody. Good morning, YouTubers. How's everybody doing today, man? I hope everybody is great. So today's going to be a little bit different. Um, no CRX and no Civic. Well, technically, we're going to be working on a Civic, but not my Civic. Today, I have to replace the front grill on my fiance's Civic. I forgot what year it is. 2017? I think it's a 2017 Honda Civic. So we have to replace the grill um, that was broken on the Civic. So that's what we would be doing today. But first, I've had my 91 CRX seats sitting back here for sale. And finally, somebody hit me up and wants to buy them. They will be coming today. So these Civic seats, these CRX SI seats will be going. Uh, I'm going to take them out first, clean them up a little bit and have them ready for the dude who's coming to get them. All right, so I got the seats out here, sitting on Boombox's cage right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum them up, wipe it down with a, a rag, maybe wipe underneath them as well, just to clean them up a little bit. He already knows the condition. I had the pictures up as is. So yeah, it's not they're not too bad. The typical armrest is you know ripped up and there's a hole there and there but besides that man the seats are in really good condition i'm not gonna say really good let me not say the word really good they're in decent condition for what they are and the year that they are so let me go ahead and clean them up real quick All right, so I clean them up decently for now. Let it um, let the sun dry them up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I didn't go crazy on them. I'm not gonna go crazy on them. The person who's buying them, let them go ahead and go crazy. I'm sure if I would have used the uh, what do they call it, the detailers, like an extractor, I'm sure I probably could have gotten them a lot cleaner. But that's just what it's gonna be. Whoever's gonna buy them can do whatever they please with them. So yeah, goodbye to the 91 Honda CRX SI original seats. All right, ladies and gents. So you can see that crack right there on the grill and the H is and missing. He just cut me off, y'all. Bet he won't tell y'all that though. Bet he'll cut this part out. So obviously we got to start with popping the hood. Let's see if Natalie, Natalie knows how. The, Let's see if no, Natalie knows go, how to pop. It's so this one's so hard to find. I'm usually very good at this stuff, okay? Whoever made this Honda. I think it's on the bottom. We're gonna get there, y'all. <gasps> yes. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a whole lot of clips to take off just to get to that damn grill but we're gonna make it happen so you start off i already started doing it but you're gonna take off all these little clips that are here i got one left well that one's pretty much out start off with taking all of those off first and the whole grill comes off i, I said the grill but it's not the grill it's almost like the this uh this little radiator cowl but look you can see it's off now so that comes off that's the first thing that comes off next up next up is going to be this long piece of weather stripping that goes all the way across to here so all of these clips have to come out as well so i try to be lazy and do things with just the flathead but it doesn't work that way so i had to come to o'reilly's that's literally across the street from my lady's house and I had to buy yet another freaking trim removal tool set just to take off the clips and all that good stuff. Um, I have one at the house, 
but I don't feel like driving 15 freaking minutes to go get it and then 15 minutes back when <sighs> so annoying. Whatever. Let's go back. Okay. Came back. Got the tool. Let's start popping off these clips. And everything should be smooth sailing. Once you got that long weather stripping that shoots all the way across out, you're gonna wanna take these, you wanna loosen up these guys. You're gonna pop a flat head or a Phillips head through these two holes to hit this little clip, that little clip right here, to tap that down. Same on this side, that little clip down there. Push down on that, it loosens it. So now you can see it's all loose in the front. So now I think, now I think I gotta take the screws off of the side of the bumper, of the wheel well, right here, and right here, on both sides. I think underneath there's more clips and maybe a couple 10 millimeter bolts, but I'll let you guys know. All right, so underneath there's about four clips, two 10 millimeter bolts, and two five millimeter hex head bolts. Take those off, and I think the bottom is ready to come off. And now I have to start prying the bumper off of the fender and the headlights on driver and passenger side. And then hopefully the whole grill and bumper comes out. Once you have the entire bumper off, now there's gonna be some screws. One, two, there was one here, that's three. I believe there was another one here, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I skipped, I added an extra one. But there's gonna be some screws, and you're gonna see these little slots that are here in the bumper is where the bumper is gonna slide into, and then you're gonna screw in those screws. I'm sorry, I keep saying bumper, the grill, the grill. And so now you have the grill with the two trim pieces completely out. All right, so after you have the grill off, you're gonna come over here, this little tab right here. You're gonna push that tab in so that this trim piece, this trim piece, let me show you, that long trim piece comes off on both sides. Once that trim piece is out, you grab yourself your new little grill. You put them trim pieces back onto the new little grill and you reverse everything that you just did. So now I'm gonna take this entire grill setup and put it onto the front of the bumper, screw it down, put the bumper back on, Put the clips underneath, the bolts underneath, the hex head underneath, the screws at the wheel well, so on and so forth. Yeah, so now you want to put that piece in first all the way through. We got Natalie working, guys. She thought she was going to get away with just me slaving out here on this damn car. Nah. Not today. Hold on, no, no, no. It's not in all the way. Take this out more. Take this guy in. Like way out there. Now make sure all the little legs go into the hole. Then you clip that guy in. So I was just telling that guys that I was just telling that that the one thing I dislike, obviously, and you guys can all agree, is that once it's not OEM, any body panel, it never, ever, ever, ever sits perfect, unfortunately. But the new grill is That's in. Good. It looks better than what it did before. The, the fiance is happy, so we keep on moving forward. Ladies, if your man don't do this for you on his day off, leave him to the streets. <laughs> Buy your merch today. I don't have any merch. Okay, to well, when he gets merch. And if, uh, if for any reason my fiance's brother is watching this, <laughs> Brandon, I promise it happens again, you're gonna go and pay 
the body shop to do this. Okay. So a little backstory here. Did you already tell them? Yep, I told them. Oh, okay. All right. Y'all got the rundown. <laughs> and that, ladies and gents, is how you replace a broken grill from your brother-in-law on your fiance's 2017 Honda Civic. And as always, thank you. Lord, it's not that serious. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm nice, dirty, smelly, and stank. And she's still looking kind of cute, which is not all right. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you want to watch the videos first, make sure you push that notification button. And you already know the vibes. Chase the dream, not the competition. And flacco we trend. Peace.